Hey, what's up, Lee Trade? Welcome yeah, to the Lee show. Trade's in the house. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Um. All right. Well, that's done. Let's go right into press start, <laughs> where we talk about um the latest games that we've been playing recently, and maybe a little bit of where we are in the game, or something like that. Maybe a quick sentence or two about it. Um, let's talk to the person who I think has been playing the most games, and that would be Assassin. Assassin, what have you been playing? Um, I've been playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies. Yeah. I, uh, soloed the Easter Egg and, you know, and whatever. Um, started a little, uh, Sniper Elite 3. Um, played a lot of Roundabout, especially today. That's, you know, interesting. If you guys and missed it, Assassin had an epic stream of Roundabout today. Yep. Um, I want to say that's it. I think that may be it, surprisingly. For Assassin. Assassin usually comes, he's played like a million games, but... Oh, Evolve. Week, and a little bit of Evolve. So I think, I think Assassin's like under 10 for once in a week. Alright, thank you for that. Turtle, what have you been playing? Um, I've also been playing Roundabout, a lot of it, and, let's say, Trivial Pursuit. Yes, very good game. Also, um, Costume Quest 2, got that on the Ultimate Game Sale. Oh yes, we'll and, talk about that a little later, go ahead. And, Dead or Alive 5, last round. We'll also talk about that in... Oh, oh, yeah, and some so. and some exo zombies with oh, you assassin. Got, you got exo zombies too? Yeah, I play it with assassin. I'm everybody, everybody, everybody with me has exo zombies all the yeah, time. Yeah, you should get it. This is crazy. It's all I'm, not paying, I'm not paying fifteen dollars for exo zombies. No way. Well, you could pay fifty <laughs> for all of them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Clowns, what are you even playing? Oh man, I you know roundabout. I love that game right now. I'm obsessed with that game. Um, other than that, just Evolve. And just watching Inferno play uh, Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, last night we had a good couple good Trivial Pursuit games going. That game is impressing me, I'm not going to lie. Which leads into what I've been playing, obviously. Um, Trivial Pursuit, awesome. Awesome, everyone go get it. Very good. Add me, we'll play. I'll play anyone any day. Even if I lose. Um... <laughs> Which I did to Turtle, I think only once, but still, nonetheless, it was fun. Um, I'm playing some PVZ Garden Warfare. Again, getting some achievements with Assassin on Garden Ops. Long time, uh, long time, long in the making there. Trying to finish that game up. What else? Um, I don't think I've been playing really much of anything else. Maybe some, some Hand of Fate. I'm looking to get my review up of that. That game's excellent as well. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been playing. Um, yeah, so let's just move on, I guess. Let's just take a, a question from the chat really quick before we get into anything. Gorilla Bomb asks, has anyone played Escapists? Um, last week we talked a lot about Escapists and, and Clowns and I think Turtle have both played it. Um, Assassin I don't think has played it, but he has it. Um, so Clowns, do you want to just give a quick sentence or two or a minute or two or whatever on that before we move on? Oh, I'm sorry, man. You caught me off guard a the second. The Escapist? Oh, um, yeah, I really like that game. I just, you know, it, it's a fun, retro-bit throwback game. It's uh, it's creative. It's great. It's just, you just can't play it for hours straight. We got the review up on the site, and definitely go check it out. I mean, other than that, it's a great game. If you like retro stuff, simulations, uh, especially if you ever want to see what it's like going to prison. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla, definitely check out our review on the site. Um, it it from from everything I've seen, it looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't played it, but um, if you read Clowns' review, it can get frustrating at times. So be ready to uh, to go in stealth mode. Obviously, it's a prison. So what else would you expect? But yeah, that's the escapist. Um, so yeah, last week we talked about that in the episode. So we're not going to go into too much detail now since we got other stuff to talk about. But um, we will talk about Scream Ride. Um, Scream Ride demo came out this week. Uh, Turtle was the one who was really looking forward to this game, so I want to let Turtle give his thoughts, his first impressions first, and then we can we can kind of chime in from there. So Turtle, go ahead. Tell us what you think of Scream Ride. 
Okay, so when the game was first announced, I was really, really excited because it's by Frontier Games, and they're known for their work on the Roller Coaster Tycoon series. And since I was a kid, I've played countless hours on all of those games. So, Screenwrite, I was expecting sort of like that, like build rides and stuff, but at the same time, like from the previews, it looked like. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but Thrillville. Yes, yes, it did look like Thrillville. Yeah, that's what I got from the trailers. But actually playing the demo, there's not a lot to the game. Like, there's what, like three modes? Yeah, we're showing we're showing a, we're showing a video right now of the um of mm-hmm. the first mode, the actual racing one where you're on the rails and you have to yeah. prevent yourself from falling off and use the boost and stuff strategically. What did you think of that mode, Turtle? I actually thought it was fun, and it's actually a very good concept. Like, I haven't seen it in a game before. Well, I mean, the racing, yes, but, like, roller coasters. Yeah, I think I think it looks... I think the first mode's good. I mean, I, I see myself getting bored of it quickly, that first mode. Yeah, and then there's destruction mode, or demolition, I think it's called. I think it's called, like, Demolition Expert, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but essentially that- good. That is probably my favorite mode just because I love launching the cars into buildings and just destroying the entire structure. Like, the physics are, like, really great. Right. We're going to show off a little bit of that mode as well on mm-hmm. uh, the video. But um, did you play the last mode, which is the one where you can make your own rails, make your own um, roller coasters and stuff, Turtle? Yes, I did. Um, That... Which is called the Engineer controls. for all those who are, uh, who are sticklers about what they're actually called. That one's called Engineer Mode, but go ahead. The controls, to me, feel like a little bit... I don't know how to say it, like, kind of difficult at yeah. first. agreed. But, I mean, it's fun, but, like, it can seem like it can get boring, like, kind of fast. Because I think you're lim- aren't you limited with how much room you have to build and how many track pieces? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's limited. Every map gives you a different amount of each piece. So. Mm. So yeah, that's Turtle's thoughts. What do you guys think? The other guys who have tried it, you guys have all tried it, right? Um, I've tried it a little bit. I played that uh, first mode that you showed off with the, you know, the racing or whatever. Yeah. It, it was all right. I didn't. I didn't give it a fair try, you yeah. know. But because then you know I might like it, then I don't want to buy it or something. So I'm oh, just gonna. Wa- I'm just gonna wait, you know. So. Um, ran up, so. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's what the demo's for, really, right? That's why they released the demo early because I don't feel like they were getting enough. They were getting plenty of publicity, I feel, but like not enough people knew what the reach of the game was, I don't think. So they could put this demo out to get the buzz up a little bit. Um, Clowns, what did you think of it? I liked it. I mean, it's not something that I would uh, want to play for hours on end. I, it's fun to see the demolition uh, for a couple minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> past that, though, I, I think it could get boring. Uh, but that said... If you create your own stuff with the rails and that third mode that you guys were talking about, you can probably do some epic stuff with it, but it's got a hefty price tag for the modes in that game. Yeah, so let's let's talk about the price tag really quick. $40 for the Xbox One version, and there is going to be an Xbox 360 version that will be $10 cheaper for the game. Um, before we get into worth, just really quick, because that's the first time we said anything about the 360 version... Do you think this game shows a little bit that it was maybe started on the 360 and kind of poured it over? Because I feel that way a little bit with the graphics especially and with some of the textures and stuff. Um, I feel like maybe it was started on the 360. What do you guys think about that? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, it definitely it feels like a last-gen game ported over, especially with all of the aliasing, like all the rough edges yeah. on like like objects in the distance and some of the textures can look a little like washed out at times yeah so in the chat gombo says 40 just for that yeah mm. uh 
forty Still just for that turtle. Much. I would say it's worth maybe around like twenty five or twenty. Feels more like no, a, no, no. It feels more like a arcade game. Turtle, I gotta say, I think I'd go. I think I would agree with you. I think I'd go twenty five on this, maybe twenty. Mm. A twenty five. I, I mean, if it comes down to twenty five, I'm getting it. I mean, just playing it, it doesn't feel like a full retail game. It just feels like something that would be released on like digital only arcade. Right. Right. It. This, I guess there's going to be like six regions with like 12 things you can do, four of each mode on each region, so I, I can't imagine the playthrough taking that long. I think the replay value is strictly like leaderboard style, because you do get points for everything you do. Yeah, it's definitely, if there's any replay value, it's all for just leaderboards and competing with friends. Yeah. Um, other guys, 40 bucks. Clown's kind of already said no, but... Assassin? Um, definitely not. I mean, I've played some like this, like Zoo Tycoon. I mean, they put a $60 price on that, and I mean, I got bored of it within like four hours, not even. Right. And this is something like that. I mean, you know, roller coasters, of course, but I don't know. Right, right. Um, I, to be honest, I agree with Gumbo in the chat right now. Fifteen dollars would be the max price. I'd prefer like a ten dollar price tag on that thing. I don't even feel like that it was made on the three hundred and sixty ported over. I think when they were making it, I think they were trying to do it for both systems at the same time, not as a port. Um, but I think they, you know, they maybe got carried away in the creative side instead of the graphic side. Maybe they were more focused on the actual gameplay versus the graphics, so that's what I'm thinking. Because I think the concept is great. Um, I just think the way that it was delivered with three modes is not very enticing. The demolition's fun. Um, th for me, though, that that's it, the demolition. Yeah, so would, do you think we'd all agree that the demolition mode is the best mode out of the three? Because I'm, I'm yeah. with you on that, Clowns. I'm with you on that. Charlie, you say so too, yeah? Assassin? I haven't played it. Oh, you didn't play the demolition mode. You only played the racing one. Yeah. Whose name escapes me right now? I can't remember the official name for that, but essentially it's a race down a down a rail, and you have to stay on it and not fall off and use boost and such. Um, but yeah, that's Scream Ride. Um, that comes out on the third for the U.S. and the sixth now for Europe. So it's gonna be forty dollars on Xbox One, thirty on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I don't think there's really anything more to say about the demo right now, but. We're sure to bring this up again when it comes out. So, um, if you guys got opinions on that, like send us, you know, send us on Twitter or put them in the chat right now, and we'll we'll definitely shut them out or something. So, or on Facebook even. We got Facebook now. That's very well kept by Assassin. So, let us know your thoughts. We want to hear them. Um, so yeah, that's Scream Red. Next topic. Topic very near and dear to Turtle's heart. Order of eighteen eighty six just came out for the PS4 this week. It is $60 in according to multiple reviewers and people that had the game early. It is only about 5 to 6 hours of gameplay if you're adept at shooting games. And if you're not, maybe 8 for $60. No multiplayer mode. Gorgeous as hell though. Mm. One of the prettiest games we've ever seen. Uh, even if you watch the streams that are compressed on Twitch, you'll you'll know that it looks gorgeous, and everyone says it looks gorgeous. So um, yeah, and Gombo, get in on this since you said you have a PS4 in the chat. Get in on this combo. What do you think of the order of 1886? Um, so Turtle, as the only avid PS4 player here, <laughs> order of 1886. What do you think of it from what you've seen? Um. I actually, aside from the trailers, and I think there was like a 15 minute gameplay demo walkthrough post on YouTube a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I really haven't seen any of this game, so I don't know what it's about. Yeah, you know, that's interesting too. Like, as much as I've looked into this game and as much as I wanted it, you know, as much as I said it would be the thing that would get me over to the PS4 for a little bit, um, I didn't even know what it was about. I just liked, you know, the look of it and the feel and the style of it, to be honest. 
Um, yeah. Good. Like everything they everything they've said about this game, like they're just talking about like the graphics, the gameplay elements, and everything. But what's the story? Right. Right. And I'm, I gotta, I gotta say though, you know, the looking at a PS4, not having one. I wanted the system just for this game. Same. Literally, I I really wanted the system for this game. Same. And despite the bad reviews, I'm probably still going to get the system just to play this game. Um, the reason why I say that is because I still think the graphics look great. I think the concept is amazing behind this game. I am disappointed with all the reviews saying that it's, you know, a short length for the story mode. I think, you know, they should have focused on that a little bit more. But maybe from a dev standpoint, giving them the benefit of the doubt, Maybe they were focused on the graphics and trying to make something fun, easy, quick achievements, trophies, etc. to play. Maybe from their standpoint, give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe that was the concept behind it. I don't want to just trash it because everything else is trashing it. I am disappointed again, though, with the short story playthrough. However, I, I still think the concept and the graphics are great. And people agree, you know, people agree with you, clowns. I don't think, like... I don't think everyone hates it for being so short and linear because we had reviews, you know, from TheVerge.com, a very well-known entertainment tech site, did a review of The Order of 1886, and they said that the linearity was refreshing to them because, you know, you get through it quickly and you knew what you were doing and you were led on the right track instead of being led astray as if it were, you know, extremely open world. And people find that refreshing. For sixty bucks, I don't find it refreshing. Just that's just me. Um, I mean, I could, oh, I could see what you're saying. I I wouldn't want to pay sixty bucks either. Maybe more like forty, forty-five, or something like that. Um, but I definitely I'm gonna check it out. Um, a lot of comments on the chat about this game. Um, so Gombo says would never pay. Never buy a single player game for over forty dollars. Haven't played it and do and don't plan on doing so. Got Coco says it was all hype and X Spider Venom X says would have to be more than six hours for sure. Um, let's address really quick single player game for over forty. Um, I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that. I paid over forty dollars for Red Dead Redemption. And while that does have multiplayer in it, that definitely was not the focus. And that game was out of this world. Out of this world. So, I think there are exceptions to that rule, but I understand what you're saying, Gombo. And generally, I agree, but there are some standouts that I would definitely, you know, go 64 for sure. Um, what do you guys think about that? Anyone? Mm. Euler. Over $60 <laughs> for a single player game. Or over I 40 he says. I've, I've done it plenty of times. I paid 60 like full retail for a single player only game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are exceptions. There are definitely exceptions. Skyrim, right there. That Skyrim. Skyrim. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, how about the It Was All Hype comment by Got Coco? It uh, was. It was a lot of hype. Yeah, damn yeah. it, man. It was a lot of hype. So much hype that it made me want to buy a $400 system for one game. Um, so that's that's hype. That's a lot of hype. I gotta agree. Um, would have to be more than six hours for sure from Spider Venom. Um, the thing is, I can't even say for sure that it would take me six hours. Like I'm the kind of guy who likes to explore every crack of every wall and of every box. You know, I mean, a lot of the guys on this on this crew are. So maybe it would take me a little longer, but. You know, I don't like a game that I buy, I pay sixty dollars for that I could beat in one day. Um, that kind of pisses me off as a buyer. But yeah, I, I got um, I bought The Last of Us remastered whenever it was released on PS4, and it was I think it was sold for like forty nine, like fifty dollars when it was released. I bought that, and it took me about a week to finish. Right. So right, I mean, exactly. That, there's, there's a perfect example right there. Perfect example. Yeah, but like a game that can be beaten in a single day, like in one sitting, like no replay value neither, like, no. Exactly, man, exactly. And all the reviews say the replay value is very low for this one. I mean, I don't even think they're like unlockables or anything. 
You know what I mean? Like, at least with The Last of Us, you get, like, a game plus. I'm not even sure this has that. Mm. Um, Spider Venom makes a good point about that thing about the $40 for single player game. GTA 5 falls into that category. It was worth every bit of $60. Um, yeah, but there was a big online component to that. I mean, if you're playing it just for the single player, yeah, it's still worth 60 bucks, I think. So that it's a good point. But, I mean, that did have a huge multiplayer following. Or still does, rather. I can't even say did. Um, anyone else on this topic, real quick? Order of 1886? No, but I said my piece on that one. It's a AAA title for Sony getting killed by the reviewers overall. So, not looking good. Um... Saves me 400 bucks for now, because this was going to get me to buy one. Yeah, um, but one quick thing is, um, I think they put too much effort into making it look good and the graphics and everything, because this was supposed to be like the first real game to like show off the PS4's power. Exactly, but, man, exactly. But like they, does, put, the they put all their perfect. focus... They put all their focus on that and like forgot the gameplay. Right, right. We got a quick poll going in the chat. Should we get should Gorilla get Dying Light or Evolve? Um, looks like overwhelmingly people are saying Dying Light. I would say Dying Light. These guys are probably gonna say Evolve. Maybe Turtle say Dying Light, but Assassin and uh, Clowns. Clowns said. Know. Did Clowns answer? Oh, you guys answered in the chat. Assassin said Dying Light. Wow, everyone said Dying Light. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, Dying Light's awesome, man. Get Dying Light. Evolve, if you have a bunch of buddies to roll with, like, if you want to come join us, Gorilla, and play it, I don't even have Evolve yet. Um, I personally am not a huge fan of it. It it looks good. Yeah, I'll probably pick it up pretty soon, but just because I have people to play with. But if you don't, it's a waste, I think. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's Order of 1886. Um, if you got any more thoughts about that, let us know on all of our outlets. Um, I'm sure we'll be bringing up some other order stuff in the future. Um, but right now we've got to move on to what's next? What's next? The March update, right? So nope. the March dashboard update. I'd like to hear the PS4 people. We got some PS4 people in the chat. I want to hear some PS4 thoughts about some of these features on the Xbox because some of them I think are pretty awesome. And, um,. And some of them are copy offs of the PS4, I'm not gonna lie. So it's like screenshots. We finally got screenshots. Guys. Took over a year, but we got our screenshots. Yay. 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 Screenshots. Um Then the Upload Studio app got a huge overhaul. Uh we'll go into that a little bit because I have my capture card running. Um And then this this a suggested friend section now, so you can make friends without actually making friends, because it'll actually just suggest friends to you, and you can just add them. So that's kind of cool. Um, then there are changes to the uh, name sharing, like the actual name sharing system, so you can pick who you want to actually share your name with instead of just sharing it with everyone or with your friends. So you can select individual people now. Um, you can adjust the tile transparency on the dashboard. So I'll show that off in a second, and you can report those nasty spam messages that a lot of us have been getting, especially clowns, with, uh, you want a free PS4 or Xbox One? Like, go to this site uh, yeah. or whatever, right? Ridiculous. I'm a few Domino's ones. Um, oh yeah, Domino's? Dude, yep. I, haven't, I haven't gotten the Domino's one, but I've been getting a lot of spam, <laughs> dude. I've been getting a lot of spam, so, um, definitely, definitely some cool features. Alright, let's, let's get into it, um. Hopefully my capture card will run right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a blue screen at my my TV real quick. But while I'm setting this up, guys, tell me what you think is the best feature of the dashboard update that you think. Screenshots. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I thought the suggested friends was going to be the best, but after going through it, it only suggests people that follow you that you haven't friended yet so far. Yeah, so I'm showing that. I'm going to show that off right now in the Elgato. So talk a little bit more about that, clowns. What do you mean? Like it's it's only it's only people that have followed you that you haven't friended. Is that what you're saying? Yep. So far, for me, all the ones that it suggested are people that followed me that I haven't followed back. Yeah, same thing happens on mine. It's just all the people that followed me. Yep. 
Is Friends down right now or something on Xbox? Because I just went to it. It says we don't have any suggestions right now, but right before the show, it was fine. Maybe they're no. fixing it. Maybe they got complaints. <laughs> no, Friends is working for me. If you go to the Friends list and go all the way down, you'll get a couple of suggested people. So that's working Two. for me, but the suggested... Yeah, a couple, and I mean that literally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just followers for me right there, but um, sometimes you'll get followers and you won't even know they're following you. And you'll want to add them. So that's why I think it's a cool feature, even though it's just followers. But you're definitely right, Clowns. It's kind of bushly that it doesn't suggest more people, like friends of friends or something, you know? Exactly. I mean, should I go follow Major Nelson so it shows up on his suggestion that he should follow me? I don't know. <laughs> yes. You should. That would be, that's sick. Awesome. Awesome point. I think I'm going to do that. Um, so, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's suggested friends. That's an awesome idea. I think everyone should go do that. Go follow Major Nelson so it's just him that he follows us. Um, <laughs> um, what else? What else? Okay, tile transparency, right? So you can see these tiles. They're transparent, right? You can actually go now into, um, into your settings, and you can change the tile transparency by going to My Xbox. And then there are four options. I'm kind of disappointed about this. I wish there was like a slider. You know what I mean? We could adjust like a percentage of transparency, but no, it's just solid, mostly solid, partly transparent, and mostly transparent. So, what do we think about the transparency thing? Oh, not Internet Explorer. I haven't used the transparency, and I really don't plan to. Um, question in the chat, is Escapist on PS4? I think it's only PC and Xbox right now. Oh yeah, Clown said that, okay. Yeah, so it's only PC and Xbox right now. Um, Spider Venom says he hardly uses the screenshot feature on his PS4. He likes game capture more. Slap it on a thumb drive, toss in a video editor, quick and easy. Um, I've done that before. What? Record a gameplay clip on the... PS4 and just put it on a hard drive and edit it on the PC. Really? I thought PS4 people liked this, the snapshot thing. I thought they liked the screenshot. I've, I've always used the screenshot. Right? I thought people liked that. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I, I always see that on Twitter, like, check out mm. this, whatever, PS4 share, and it's always like a screenshot. Um, yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of people that use it. So, yeah, um... So, what else, what else, what else? Um, name sharing thing I'm not going to show off, even though you probably already saw my real name on there. Um, suggested friends that we did. Spam reporting I'm not going to show off. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just report a message at spam, and they'll probably get the guy off live, whoever's doing it. Um, so, uh, the trivia game I was talking about, Gorilla, was uh, Trivial Pursuit. That's 15 bucks right now. I'll go get it so I can play you. This is excellent. Um, so if you want to do a screenshot, you just double tap the uh, middle button and it'll bring up press Y to save screenshot. Um, press X for recording video. So everyone knows you can record video. You've been able to do that from the Xbox right away, uh, right from the start. So, so then it saves the screenshot. You go into your upload and... Um, and there's your screenshot. So people can view it, like it, whatever. Um, so, yeah. So that's screenshot. I guess a lot of people aren't going to use that. But it's been requested a ton on the Xbox. So it must have been popular on PS4. Um, yeah, so that's the, that's the Dash update. I don't think there's really anything else. Um, but for Upload Studio, so let's talk about Upload Studio real quick. You can get up to 15 different video segments now uh, on Upload Studio, and you can have a video up to 30 minutes in length. What was it before? Like five, Turtle? Um, I'm, not sure. I'm not too sure. I don't use Upload that much. so. I think it was five. I think you can only do like a five-minute video before. Um, so you can do 15 segments, 30 minutes in length. There's a bunch of like splash screens. You can do like title cards with your gamer tag now. You can do intro, outro, transition segments. It's 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 pretty full feature. It's like iMovie. If ever if anyone has a Mac, it's kind of like iMovie now. Um, I'm gonna go into it real quick. And you the can do a green screen, right? Yep. 
Yep, green screen. What but I mean, it, it it does freeze a lot, at least for me so far. Yes, yes. Um, the first time I ran it, I was like, "Clowns, what are you talking about? It doesn't screen. For, it, it doesn't lag for me." And then I ran it a couple times, like, and I was like, "Whoa, okay, it's lagging me a little bit." Um, but yeah, so the green screen. What's it called, Assassin? You would tell me. Greenless screen, green screen. Greenless screen, green screen. Because you don't actually need a green screen to do it. So let's uh let's show that off a little bit. Um, not wrong one. So here's the upload studio. Um, so you can create a new video. You can start from a template. There's like a million templates on here, and by a million I mean probably like a hundred. Um, and so when you you know you go into it, you you can browse the templates. Um. If you wanted to do like a, oh, I don't know, like top five, right, top five video or something, it gives you all these options, and you just add your clips into these options, and it tells you which one's which, and it shows you a little preview. So this is a 30 second example, and and um, and it has the whole template there for you, with five, four, three, two, one, it counts down, you just put your clip in, and add text you can have a little voiceover or something it's really really cool um and it's working very well for me right now clowns i'm not gonna lie so what do you guys think it's gonna get you onto upload studio you stubborn mm. non-users turtle no definitely oh. not i'm still going to take my game clips into my pc and edit them yeah but not everyone has the editing software yeah, but I'm just talking about, like, for me, I personally won't be using Upload. What does the chat think? The Upload features kind of cool, the new ones. Come on, somebody back me up on this. I think it's cool. <laughs> if you don't have an editing PC, or, you know, you don't have a capture card or whatever, you know, I think it's awesome. I think I, I think it is great because it also increases the, uh, the size. I mean, 30 minutes, I believe, is what they said, and something like 15 clips consecutive back-to-back -back instead of five. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, it is a big deal for people that don't have capture cards, and it certainly can change the game for some uh, YouTubers out there who just want to capture off this, upload to a Microsoft OneDrive, and grab it from there and put it on YouTube. So, I mean, it, it's a big deal. Right. It's huge. I think it's huge. I think that you're going to see a ton more videos on upload, and they're going to be way better quality. So, I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have a capture card or a good. PC for editing, then I would definitely be using the upload. I'm gonna make like a top five Battlefield 4 video, I think, using the upload studio just to test it out and see how that goes. Cause I definitely want to try it out. And there's a Minecraft one. There's like a top five Minecraft one with Minecrafty transitions. You gotta check it out. It's awesome. Spider Venom says Share Factory is weak. It really is. Compared PS4 to people. Upload. PS4 people. Share Factory, yeah, weak. Yeah, I don't even have it installed. Wow. I've used it. It's Upload is way better. Okay. Well. The question, though, question for the PS4 people. I mean, does Share Factory freeze like Upload Studio does on Xbox, or is it pretty smooth? I've never had an issue with it. Yeah, it's probably smooth. <sighs> to be honest, from what I've seen, it's very... There aren't as many features as this, so... Right, Turtle? It's not even close to as featured as this. No. Yeah, so. Uh, Gombo says it looks cool. It's a copy of the share feature. But it looks like they made it better. Yeah, the Xbox always had this upload studio, but it kind of sucked because it was very laggy and you couldn't make really, you know, exceptional videos with it. But now I think they've stepped up their game. Um, so, yeah, Spider, Spider Venom says he's never had the game factory free, uh, the share factory free, so... Yeah, um, I don't know. The Xbox is getting slightly smoother, but the PS4, with a lot of their apps, have all, always been smooth. I, I gotta say that. Um, gaming, not so much, but from what I've seen. Um, speaking of which, this is a perfect time to just throw in a random news story about that guy that got his Destiny save deleted. Oh yeah, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> Yeah, so um, some, some kid... Oh, you want to tell it, Assassin? Go ahead. Yeah, some kid was using the... Uh, uh, what, what is the feature? I can't even think of it. Game and, share. The game... Yep. Like, the game yep. share on PS4, yeah? Yep, someone, someone let someone take care, you know, use his controller. They saw him, like, I believe it was 31 or 32 level 
you know, character and destiny, he goes up to the character and deletes it. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Just incredible. <laughs> Share guess, play, it's called. Got Coco says. Thank you, uh, thank you. Share I bet play. they'll probably lock that feature for Destiny and then like it's it depends on the game that why like, if you can use share play, but I bet they'll probably lock share play for Destiny now. I don't even think you should be able to delete game saves and stuff like it's like actually sharing your your whole game and all your saves and stuff i think that's so weak but uh that sucks for that person anyway yeah. we gotta move on we're running out of time um new releases this week for xbox and for ps4 for some of these games so it's related to everyone um one of T turtle's favorite game of the year so far dead or alive five um last round you can buy one of two versions for it of it right now on the Xbox. The Core Fighters version that has like six or four to six characters, I can't remember, is four ninety nine, but it's normally nine ninety nine. And the full game with all the fighters and with the story mode unlocked, um, is forty dollars. So Turtle, tell us why we should be buying Dead or Alive Five. Or tell us what you like about it. Well, I mean the combat is really nice and it's kinda like easy to pick up and learn. Like, I've never played Dead or Alive before this game and had no idea what I was doing. But after maybe 30 minutes in the tutorial, I, I was winning on, like, normal difficulty. I went from, like, rookie to normal. But, I mean, the graphics, as far as graphics, it looks good. It's sharp. And, it's very sharp. Yeah, like, the textures are good, but... um. Sometimes I notice some rough edges around yeah. some of the characters. Yeah, the aliasing is a little off, I'd say. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's but, boarded up. Yeah, but other than that, like, I there's a lot of characters. Like, if you have the full version, not just the core fighters, like, there's a lot of characters to choose from. Yeah, it's like 40 characters. It's ridiculous. Something crazy like that. Yeah. Only thing is, right now, the story, like, the story is, uh, this kind of threw me off, the story is DLC for Core Fighters. Oh, well, spe speaking of DLC, Clowns, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the DLC costs <laughs> for this game, since you're the one who brought it to our attention. Oh, uh, Dare or Alive 5, huh? Nope. Yeah. DLC costs, what do we got? Man, this thing is ridiculous. $92.99 for a season pass. And you think you'd get something great in this season pass. Like, it's epic. I mean, like, maybe new characters, maybe, like, new levels, environments, a new story. No. You get skins and costumes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Skins and costumes. And don't forget the Rosemary Angelic Maid costume. I mean, that's definitely worth $92.99. At least the <laughs> studios think so. I'm I don't know where this is going, but this is a bad precedent set forth for other companies because if this thing sells at ninety two ninety nine, it's going to affect so many other fighting games out there. If they see the, the greed, the money behind this, they're all going to jump on this type of bandwagon. I definitely do not support it. Let alone the fact that you can buy the core game for 10 bucks, which is limited in characters and online fighting and just fighting, no story. The actual game for 40 bucks on Xbox One and that's the characters and the story, if I'm correct, Turtle. All yep. the characters and the story. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, so you're you're paying forty if you want that, plus the ninety two ninety nine. So you're you're looking you're exceeding already um like like 140 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous it's money. Crazy. Evolve is not even as expensive as that. One thing I wanted to point out is about the DLC. Like I understand getting everything as DLC if you have the core fighters version, but I bought the full version for forty dollars, and you figure they would have two versions, I guess, on the store servers or whatever. But when you buy the full version, all of the DLC that all of, like everything you get is still DLC. So I had like forty items appear in my queue. Right, <laughs> right, yes, and it took like forever to download them, right? Yep. And I uh, also right now the online is not working. Like you can play with friends through invites, but 
finding a ranked match and a lobby crashes the game. Right, so earlier in the week they kind of addressed that by just tweeting out the Xbox One support page, which was kind of a lame move, I think, by Team Ninja, because that, that was like them not taking any accountability for it. But Turtle says, what, what's the update on that, Turtle? Um, the last update was, I think, from today they updated the site to say that they are working on an update that will be released to fix the crashing. Gotcha. Yeah, so they're working on an update. So if you got this game getting pissed because of the, the crashing and everything, don't lose hope because they're fixing it, I guess, finally. They're taking accountability. So The Mr. Pickles reference in the chat, I have no idea what that is. Someone please explain that to me because I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Somebody know. in the chat explain that because I have no idea what that is. But everyone apparently knows except me. Um... Gombo says people invest way more money in FIFA than what we've been talking about with Dead or Alive, so... I would believe that. I believe it, too. Um, I definitely believe it. Uh, I think it's crazy, personally, um, but I believe it. The microtransactions in that game can go overboard. Um, oh, God, Coco says there's an adult swim TV show called Mr. Pickles. Got it. Okay. Gotcha. Come on, Turtle. I expect you to know that. You cartoon mm. network watcher. I don't watch it all so I'm oh, I'm not. <laughs> all right, well, whatever. Um, I going back to what Gumbo said. I, I definitely see, especially worldwide, people investing more money in FIFA because uh, soccer is just so huge as a sport. Yeah. Um, everywhere yeah. else. Absolutely, absolutely. It's so wide-reaching compared to jiggle effect boobs on Dead or Alive. Um. And it did come out on my birthday, I will say. It came out on the 17th, which was my birthday, so I should have treated myself to uh, to this, but I couldn't... I yeah, couldn't st- I mean, Inferno, you should get jiggy with it. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, could, I, could not, uh, I could not pay that kind of money for it, though. Not even the basic one. But there is a free trial, so if you want to try it out, go, go check it out. There is a free trial right now of the game, and um, I don't know how long that goes for, but we've played a few matches, and it hasn't stopped me, so... Go check it out. All right, we gotta move on. Gotta move on. We're out of time. Hand of Fate. That's the uh, next release that came out this week. That came out on Wednesday. It is twenty dollars. Um, I'm reviewing it for Four Guys with Quarters, and I think is Turtle review. Turtle already reviewed it for yeah, Xbox our, Culture. Got a little our earlier. Our review than us. is up. So if you want to check out that review, go to Xbox Culture. Then come and check out mine in the uh, upcoming days on Four Guys with Quarters Turtle Hand of Fate. Um, Combo like RPG, card playing, uh, 3D action, um, text, text, old school text, text fight, uh, story, text adventure. It, it's it combines a bunch of different genres in one. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Um, I mean, like it's a really fun game. I think. A lot of people from like the screenshots are going to see that it's cards, and they'll probably just like forget about it because they don't like unless you watch a gameplay video or watch somebody play it on Twitch or whatever. Like you're just going to think it's a card game, but it has a lot of like combat where yes. you're actually playing, and like I kind of like the throwback to old text adventures where you select. Like from like a uh, preset answers or whatever. Yes, yeah, so it's like it's almost like it's kind of like what Telltale evolved from, like the old school text answer, navigating your story, changing the outcome through mm. text based game like Oregon Trail. If anyone's ever played that, or old Telnet game text games, which our audience is probably too young for that, but um, it kind of that sort of thing. Um, but you're right, Terrell, if, if you don't watch this, if you don't watch videos of it, or if you don't watch somebody stream it, you're not going to appreciate it, and you'll probably just dismiss it, which sucks, because this game is actually nominated for um, for a best hardcore console PC game um, at Game Connection USA, which takes place next week, or next month, actually. Um, so it's nominated for an indie award, and um, it's actually very good. I recommend it for 20. Uh, it's Clowns, Clowns loves it too, right? Um, we still talk about Hand of Fate? Yeah. yeah. I haven't played it. 
Yeah, but what I mean, you've seen, from, I mean. From what I've seen, though, I think it's fantastic. It, it looks amazing. Um, I definitely want to check it out, but the, the mix of the RPG style with a card-type game, yeah, definitely. It's, that's something I would, I would love to play. An assassin has no interest in it. I have some interest. Um, come watch me stream it sometime, bro. You haven't streamed it yet. I know, but come watch me stream it sometime is what I'm saying. Well, when you do, tell me and I'll watch. Alright, good. <laughs> good. And don't tell me what to do like you do on Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> I was streaming Trivial Pursuit and this kid comes in and he's like, A, A, B, like trying to give me all the answers. It's on like a 20 second delay. This kid's trying to give me the answers. I'm like, <laughs> damn you, assassin. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Hand of Fate, go check it out, 20 bucks. I think it's worth it for something different. Um, it should take you a while to beat, and you can play it. There's replay value because you can make different decisions and check out how that forms the game and everything. There's tons of cards in the deck. So There's, yeah. also, there's also an endless mode with a leaderboard. Right, so you can play the endless mode and just keep fighting and fighting and fighting. So go check that out. Um... Stream it, baby, one more time. Interesting. Good reference, though. Um, all right, so next game is Blue Estate, right? So that came out on Wednesday as well. Um, it is a rail shooter. It's kind of sadistic and comical rail shooter, kind of like a light gun game you'd see in the arcades, like um, Time Crisis or something like that. Um, you can control with your controller, or you can use the Kinect so, to like simulate a light gun, kind of. Um, right now it's on sale for ten dollars and thirty nine cents with on deals with gold. So if you if you want to pick it up, pick it up now because it's on it's twenty percent off. Normally it's twelve ninety nine. Anything to say about this one, guys? No. I, before it was released, I'd never heard of it. Right. Exactly. I mean, it came out of nowhere, just like the next game we're gonna talk about. But uh, it, it just came out of nowhere. But the graphics are good, and mm. it's the first next-gen rail shooter. That's what they're touting it as. That's what their PR people are touting it as. So, if you're a fan of those kinds of games, I'd say give it a try for 10 bucks. Um, I haven't seen any reviews of it, so I can't really say, but Blue Estate. Check it out. Um, clearly, we don't know anything about it. Gromo says, are these all Xbox-only games? No. Dead or Alive is out on PS4. Um, and... The last game we featured Hand of Fate. I don't know if that's seeing a PS4 release. Yeah, Something tells out. me it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Hand of Fate is is not is not um, Xbox only. It is also on PS4. Um, Blue Estate I don't think is on PS4. Um, I could be wrong, but I do not think it is. And this next game we're about to talk about, which these guys are gonna have a lot to say about, Roundabout, uh, came out today. Uh, it's fourteen ninety nine, and I'll let these guys explain it because there really is no one way to explain <laughs> this game. It's really crazy. Get it. Get it, it. It's out for Xbox One and for PC now, but it is seeing a PS4 and Vita release. So, um... Oh, it's coming to the Vita also? It's coming to the Vita as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so tell us about it, guys. You guys all have played it. Let's okay. let's uh, let Assassin go first, so that way we can get that out of the way. Assassin, and sort of like talk about how great it is. Assassin tr- streamed a ton of it today. Got a ton of viewers. It was a yep. very successful stream. Assassin, tell us, tell us about it. Okay, it's about uh, this lady who's a limo driver, but instead of the limo going straight, you know, left, right, back, it spins in a circle. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, you cannot make it stop. The spinning. limo just keeps spinning, right? Yep, and so the the story you have to you know pick people up, drive them, you know through these places, you know, with the limo while it's spinning. And I mean, it's it's difficult to not hit things. Um, you can run over pedestrians and blood squirts all over the place. Um, the the cutscenes very um, corny. Oh come on! I Very just, corny. Oh, it, it looks it looks like they just used people on the development team and just made these cutscenes. There's a picture of it right now if you're watching the stream. Um, it, it's very artificial. The acting is very is so bad. It's funny. I think that's what they were going for. Um, well, I, I really like the style. I think the style of like the 1970s TV show almost. Like it's set in the 70s. Right. It's supposed to be set in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, 
I don't, can you guys recommend this for 15 bucks? I would yeah, absolutely, absolutely you gotta get this game. No, seriously, in all seriousness, this game is a lot of fun. You gotta yeah. go into this game knowing that it's not a serious game. You gotta go into it enjoying like the ridiculous B-rated story they got in the limousine. The cutscenes make this game just out of this world. I haven't seen anything like this since Plumbers Don't Wear Ties back on like Sega CD. Wow, uh, throwback. It, this is, it's amazing. At least for me. I can see myself playing this for a while. Um, oh, and I got the world record in the bounce, so try to beat me. Yeah, pick up the game, try to beat uh, world records. Assassin, do you have one or no? Yep, I do. Assassin has one. I think Hugo has one from Xbox Culture. So, um... I don't have one. Yeah, I'm personally not gonna, I'm, I'm personally not gonna get this for 15 bucks. I can't pay that much. Maybe 10. It is fun. It is, um... It's developed and published by this company called No Goblin, um, and it is their first game, actually. So kudos to them on making a good first game. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's an awesome first try, and it's going into a very competitive space, and they need to be commended for it, because there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, even though you, from first look, you're not going to think so. Uh, isn't there over, like, a thousand things to do in this game? Like, if you look at the map, there's, like, a thousand things to collect or something like that yeah there is dude there is well, things to collect but yeah i mean there's like maybe 10 things no there's more than including 10, the maybe. story i mean if no. the story is one and then there's <laughs> challenges there's like three of the same challenges all over the place <laughs> and i played them all all right well but the thing is the development team like the development members, from what I've seen on the store description, has an impressive list of games that yep. they have worked on, like Destroy All Humans and Rock Band. Oh, they worked on those? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, oh, a, nice. it's big, dude. I mean, these guys are huge. This is their first me. game, though. This is their first, like, real game, right? That they under, did themselves? Under yeah. their, their title. Right, yeah, under right. Their company title. Oh, so they've worked on a bunch of cool stuff. Dude, bravo to them. Go check it out. Go watch some videos. Watch some streams because you can't really appreciate it until you watch maybe like 20 minutes of it. But you may be hooked because of how silly stupid it is. But yeah, that's Roundabout. $14.99 came out today. So check it out. Um, wow, we're run we are running out of time. So we're going to have to rush through these. Um, ultimate game sales this week. You guys, if you have Xbox, you probably already saw it. If you have PS4, I'm sorry. You guys didn't see it, obviously. Um, bunch of awesome games for sale. Um, apparently, the sales are saving, like, over $800 worth of savings on this sale. Um, we're going to run a um, like a little slideshow with all the games and with the discounts that you get if you're a gold member versus a silver member um, for Xbox Live. So, um it would be impossible to go over every single one of these games in, in the amount of time we have, but um, just quickly, guys, if you want to, maybe like one or two games that you really think are worth it that people should absolutely get out of this sale. A little Salad Grounds, maybe. Travago 5 <laughs> um, on 360. Oh, I don't have the 360 ones listed, but that's a good one from 360. 360 has even more than this, if you can imagine that. Um, but what about Xbox One? A couple, couple Xbox One games that are worth it, would you say? Um, to be honest with you, besides, <laughs> for me, at least for me, Sniper League 3 and Watch Dogs, for the weekend sale, I didn't really see anything that I was, um, so gung-ho about. Alright, so uh -oh. not including, no, Terrell, when you answer, don't include the weekend sale, because I'm not running those ones yet mm. on, the, on the video. So just from the, just from the week sale. Um, well, let's say I've picked, personally, I've picked up Costume Quest 2, like four dollars. Oh, I forgot about Costume that. Awesome quest, dude. Mine. Yes, five bucks. Turtle. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, also, I say there was Angry Birds Star Wars. That was kind of cheap. Angry Birds Star Wars. That was really cheap. Um, yes. what else? Um, Des uh, not Destiny. Wow, I was not gonna recommend wow. that. I'm so sorry. I was <laughs> gonna say uh, wow. Fantasia. I saw D Disney's mm -hmm. Fantasia. That's twenty bucks. That's a cool game. And Sticks it also is includes the, I think Fantasia also includes the three expansion packs that were up for pre order. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it is. So yeah, it includes expansion packs. Um, as Clown said, Watch Dogs. Even play that. Get that. That's definitely worth it for sixty percent off. 
Um, Sticks Master Shadows, that's like 750. Sniper Elite's under 10 bucks. Um, no, Assassin, I do not recommend Destiny. Um, <laughs> although that is that is 33% off, so I'll pick that up if you don't have it and you're a fan of that game. The Monopoly Fun Pack is on sale. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that you could, you could potentially buy, but I think if I were to recommend a couple, I would definitely say um, Fantasia. I'd say Watch Dogs. And those would probably be the first two I go for. And then mm. closely followed by like Sniper Elite and Sticks and stuff like that. But there, there are a few ones I'd go for. Assassin, did you want to say a couple games that you... Uh, Sniper Elite, Fantasia, and Angry Birds. Maybe even Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris with the Season Pass. 60% off. Like, that's a good deal. Mm. Um, is ZPCI Assassin's Screen frozen? It, it is. Could, it could yeah, potentially it be frozen. It is. And Sky, I, I have him just loading. Yeah, it lost his image. I, I just restart. Tried to restart it. Okay. We might have lost. Yeah, we might have lost him. Skype maybe doing funny things tonight. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Um, can we still hear him though? Hello. Yeah. 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 Still there. We can still hear him. All right. So He's let's talk with us in spirit. Let's talk about just the. Let's talk about the weekend stuff. So weekend stuff is Killer Instinct Complete Collection. Walking Dead Season 1 and 2, Halo Master Chief Collection Digital, and Shadow of Mordor Season Pass, so the only for this weekend. So, what do you guys think of those deals? Great. Especially Halo. For that cheap. Yeah, Halo is 36 bucks. so for those four campaigns, say what you want about the bugginess of the multiplayer they came out with. They have improved it. Um... So say what you want about that, but for thirty six dollars, and you, if, especially if you haven't played those campaigns, it's worth it just for those, right, Turtle? What you say? Yeah. Yeah. So definitely pick that up. And also, The Walking Dead season one and two, like that is a must play. Sixty percent, yeah, sixty percent off of that. If you're into those, you gotta get those. Telltale does an excellent job on their games, mm. and if you haven't played a Telltale game, it's an excellent one to go into, especially if you're a fan of the series. Um, Gombo says NBA possibly if you're into that game. Definitely agree. Um, that's a huge discount. Let me go back to that. Um, was NBA well, 80% off? Yes. Uh, 85 I think. 85% off. So that makes it under 10 bucks. Definitely if you're into NBA. I, it, I think compared to NBA 2K, it's the weaker of the two. But fun can still be had, and they're definitely making improvements on that one. So it's it's worth it if you're not one an thing. EA Access member. Yeah, I was going to say it. It's coming to EA Access, so if you're a subscriber to that, then just wait. Right. Interestingly, I have somebody on my friends list playing Battlefield Hardline. Really? Um, yeah. Ooh. Just kidding. Um, hold on. Oh, no, they're playing the beta, so they're not playing anything. Um, yeah, so that's the, that's the weekend sale, too. Uh, clowns, would you say K KI as well? KI definitely. Yeah. If you're into that style of fighting game, Walking Dead is a must. If you're into Telltale, mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of Halo, um, so I would say no until it's like ten bucks. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but I, it, that's just my pre you know my personal preference there with that one. Yeah, I'd say if you don't have it, go for Halo. If you're into it, if you're not into it, you know obviously don't go for that. Um, but like Walking Dead, if you're if you're even a, a little bit into it, I'd say go for it. Ki is excellent, very underrated. Um, but with with MK10 coming out, Mortal Kombat 10, you might want to wait on that. Unless you're really into Killer Instinct, then I'd say definitely go for it. But yeah, that's the ultimate sale. Um, interestingly, um, Lords of the Fallen was supposed to be part of this sale. Um, so Lords of the Fallen came out a little while ago, um, quite a while ago actually. What was that like September? A, a while ago. Uh, it was supposed yeah. to be nine dollars. It was supposed to be like eighty percent off or something crazy like that for gold members, right, Turtle? Yeah. Um. So why was it pulled from the Ultimate Game Sale? We're wondering. So, um, Deck Thirteen Interactive, who worked on the game, uh, released a tweet not too soon after, not too late, you know, after the launch of the Ultimate Game Sale. It was on the 18th. They said regarding Ultimate Game Sale, it was supposed to be in there. It seems 
like it was for a few hours and got pulled no info yet. So what was it, two hours or something, Turtle? It was on the sale? Yeah, not very long. It was like in the middle of the night, I think. Right. So two hours, it was on, it got pulled. Not even the developers knew what was going on. Um, and then they they made another tweet a day later said regarding the ultimate game sale again at this point Lords of the Fallen is not part of the sale and that's all they can say for the moment so stay tuned and as of right now it's still not part of it so and, and the been, sale's almost over and the sale's almost over it's gonna be over in a couple of days so um, what do we think about that like that disconnect between the developer and Xbox and Microsoft I, I personally think that it will be back as part of deals with gold you think? Like next week or something? Maybe deals of gold? Mm. Maybe. Clowns, Clowns, what do you think? Because you had something to say about it. I, I just, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's a mix-up between the PR departments, between both companies. It's very possible. Maybe the devs and uh, ID at Xbox or something were on par with the sale. Maybe the PRs weren't aware of the whole situation or marketing. Uh, I think after all this, though, in good faith, they should bring it back as part of the sale. Definitely. Because there are fans of that title, even though it didn't get the greatest reviews. Right. And at least if they don't do it during this sale, then make it on sale or make it free with gold. Um, those are the two ways that they can come back from this. Agreed. Good suggestions, man. Um, especially, especially since a lot of people did manage to get it while it was nine dollars. Right. And what happened to those people? That, like you snooze, you yeah. lose if you don't get it in two hours. Like it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people that I know of that wanted to get it but can't. Right. Assassin, what do you think? Final thoughts on this? I mean, Clown said most of what I was going to say, but all right, I mean, that that's nice. fine. That's fine. Yeah, so bring it back, Microsoft. Give us the deal. I may pick it up for nine bucks. I'm not gonna lie, looks gorgeous. So, from what I've seen, Cody on Xbox Culture did a good, did a good review of it. I think didn't he? Mm -hmm. So, was it Cody? Or was it Hugo? It was yeah, Cody, right? Yeah, Cody did a good review over at Xbox Culture. So, go check that out if you're interested in that game. But if it comes up for nine bucks again, I'll probably pick it up. All right, really quick, deals with gold. We only got a couple minutes. Um, this week we already mentioned one, Blue Estate, twenty percent off. Um, that's the rail shooter we were talking about earlier that you can use connect or controller. Um, oh, before we get into this, really quick, Gombo just put in the chat. Yeah, but most fans have the game already of Lords of the Fallen. Um, not not you, true. You'd be you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, I think, of how many people will pick up a game when it goes cheap and then love the series. Um, but I I I may agree mostly that if you if you are gunning for this game since it's been out so long, you probably already got it. Well, I mean, like, me personally, I got Halo on release day and then traded it, and that was a few months ago, and then just got it again today. Right. So, like, I'm, like, I was a fan of the game, but not, I just traded it because, you know, it was broken, but that's not the point. But, um, like, my point is, like, if like not all the fans of the game are going to still have the game. Right, right. They may pick it up again if they regret trading it in or something. If they got it non digitally, that's true. Very true. So, I think I think there'll be a good amount of people buying it if it comes down to nine dollars to be able to gold, or if they attack it onto the weekend sales or something. I think you'll see a lot of people buying it. But that's a good point you make, Gombo. Very good point. All right, back to deals of gold. Duck Dynasty, fifty percent off. That's Assassin's favorite game. Twenty five bucks. You gonna pick it up now, Assassin? Um, no. Yeah, you should pick it up and stream it. No. <laughs> Xbox Culture in the chat says Duck Fail. <laughs> um, yeah, this game didn't do too well. I think it only sold. I think it might have sold like a hundred thousand units in WalMarts and maybe ten units everywhere else. Um, but <laughs> it it didn't sell well. But uh, I guess if you're a fan of the show, pick it up. 50% off. Um, but, jeez, I don't know. Um, and then um, we've got... The, GTA. This is, this, is, this is the interesting one. This is the most interesting one. GTA 5 with the, the Bull Shark cash card for $59.49. That's supposed to be 15% off. But it says it's the... It says it's a free bull shot cash card. How is that free? Can someone explain this to me? It's not. Uh, I am. 
I remember correctly, I think the Bull Shark cash card is $10. maybe like, yeah. We looked at and, $10. Yeah. And maybe the 15% off is just making up for the cost of the card. Yeah, but the because if you look at the yeah. If you look at the price, it's still fifty nine dollars. Right. Right. So maybe but, maybe the percentage is just making up for the, what you're getting from the card. Right, but then it's not free. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy to me. I don't understand it. If you must have that bullshot cash card, buy GTA and get your five hundred thousand dollars in in game cash with that cash card. I just don't get it, but, I mean, if that's valuable to you and you don't have GTA, which is not likely, um, go ahead and go ahead and check that one out. What do you guys think about these deals of gold? Mm, kind of yeah, not too good. Not too nope. good this week. The ultimate game sale is where it's at, but this, yuck. Um, I don't know, anything else to say about this? Nothing really, right? Deals are cool. On the Xbox 360, you've got the, kind of the same stuff. You get Duck Dynasty GTA is on sale for like 58% off. Um, then there's like Battle Stations games, there's a couple Tomb Raider games, and World of Tanks uh, microtransactions. So, yeah. Um, Gombo says it's a marketing ploy. Yep, definitely agree. That's what it is. GTA 5 with the cash card, it's a marketing ploy. Get people to buy it. For full retail. It's gotta be what it is. Um So yeah, anything I missed this asking? You any quick quick hitters for stories real quick um, before we get out of here? The the developers between that made Happy Wars announced that their game's coming out early spring or sp early spring or spring of this year. Yes. Give me and, my Happy Wars on Xbox One, please. And the developers of World of Tanks are also creating World of Tanks on Xbox One is supposed to come out later this year. Yes! Free to play. More free to play titles. Please make them better than Warframe. Please, <laughs> please, please. Yes! Happy uh, Wars and World of Tanks is a lot better. Right, yeah, those two are definitely way better than Warframe. And they don't you know what, I, pay to win. I want to see a Full House Poker on Xbox One. Yes, Ball. bring back Full House Poker. Please, dude. That game is so solid. That wasn't free to play, though. Was it? No, it wasn't free to play. No, but it, it wasn't half off a lot, like four dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, dude, I picked that up. I picked that up for ten bucks. Screw it. Awesome game. Um. Yeah, so that's the end of the show. I don't think we have anything else. Next week we are going to have an interview. Um, it's not going to be live. We're going to have a recorded interview of the one of the developers for Mutant League Football or the creator. Who is it specifically? Yes. Uh, Michael, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the last name correctly, so forgive me, but, uh, Menheim, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, but yes, it was awesome on the Genesis, Mutant League Football, Mutant League Hockey. Um, we're going to have an interview with him next week on the show, um, and I'm looking forward to his Mutant Football League, uh, that's coming out. Yeah, so we'll we'll have that interview. It's not gonna be live though, like we said, but um, we'll do it pre-recorded, then air it on the show. Next week's show is gonna be normal time, Thursday, at 8 p.m. Eastern, same place. Um, so please do follow, come back for that show. Um, if you can't catch the shows live, you can find us on YouTube. Four Guys of Quarters is our username there. Um, and you can also watch the replays on our website and find our news articles and our awesome reviews that we have there at fourguyswithquarters.com. Um, you can hit us up on Twitter. Please follow us there, 4GWQ Podcast on Twitter. Um, and check out our Facebook page and like us, por favor. Uh, Four Guys With Quarters is our Facebook name. Obviously, you found us on Twitch if you're watching live. Four Guys With Quarters is our Twitch name in case you're watching the replay. And, uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with one of us privately or individually, our uh, names have been cycling on uh, Xbox, Twitch, and Twitter below our pictures. So please do so, and you can add us. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Sorry I went over a little bit, but kind of always does. So wasn't too long, though. 
So thank you guys, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Later. Bye.